Sarah Everard was kidnapped, raped and murdered by a police officer who should never have been on the force. Wayne Cousins is serving a whole life sentence for what he did to Sarah. And three years on, Sky News can reveal that dozens of officers have been convicted of assault, harassment, controlling and coercive behaviour. The Home Office say 150 officers were found guilty of crimes in the year to April 2023, a 70% increase on the year before. Data shared with Sky News shows at least 16 officers were convicted of assault or battery. One was convicted of attempted rape and three officers were convicted of possessing or making indecent images. Freya's ex-husband was a serving policeman. We're protecting her identity because she says he threatened her with a knife. When she reported it to the police, she says he raped her. What made me leave in the end is because I truly thought that he was going to kill me. Freya believes the numbers that Sky News have unearthed are just scratching the surface. And she could be right, because some forces didn't reply to our freedom of information request. Sometimes I hear senior officers in the news and they say they stress the majority of officers uh, that are good, but I look at the number of cases that are reported in the news now and I think, oh, they, they must be dealing with it. It's all coming out now, one by one. But are they dealing with it? I don't know. Do we really know? The National Policing Council have told Sky News they must do everything humanly possible to change policing for future generations and they will not stop until the public, especially women and girls, get the police service they expect and deserve. Those thoughts were echoed by the Police Foundation think tank. It's really important that the police take victims of these crimes seriously, and what we've seen is too many examples of where there have been reports against police officers and they haven't been uh, taken seriously uh, as they should. Sarah would have turned 36 this summer, but her life was taken by a man she should have been able to trust. Daniel Henry, Sky News.